Hi fam, welcome to my channel. My name's Tommy, where I talk about all things Web3 related. If you like that kind of content, then please consider subscribing to help me on my journey. I really do appreciate every single like, comment and subscribe as it's so difficult to grow in this bear market. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new legendary summoner from the water splinter, which is called Possiblus the Wise. So here he is, everybody, and he's currently trading at a value of just under 15 US dollars, which is the cheapest legendary summoner card available from the Chaos Legion ones. And now the reason is because he's probably not that great. He does give you two health, which is good, trample and the reach abilities. Now the trample and the reach abilities are only good for melee attack monsters. They're no good for magic and range. So you're quite limited on to what what you can use it with i did buy just a base copy of it yesterday and i've been using it for four to five hours to try and come up with some metas and to be honest it's not really that great of a card but i'm going to show you my cards that i've been using and there is some standout performers that you can use most notably in the modern league i would definitely go for a demented shark as your second tank because he gives you the inspire and that's crucial for buffing all your melee attacks and definitely go for a gold one or level your standard ones up because you get an extra melee and an extra speed attack so he's really good in the second tank position flying squid i mean he's already got the reach so you're basically just going to get trample out of him you could put the cruel cephropod in but again like it's not exactly going to move any mountains is he look at him <laughs> oh i did buy this the lemuel refugee which is a three attack three speed but he does have void so he's good against magic and he's very similar to the serpent of the eld the serpent of the eld slightly faster but got less health and less shield magic will just burn straight through him so i think this could be a good card to get for the future when the serpent of the eld comes out of the modern league uh failing that what other cards have i been using obviously the demon shark's really good the trouble i'm having with my level one possibles is i can't use my level four demon shark so i don't have the enrage so i'm struggling in the gold league with him but in the silver league for wild he has been smashing through it so i'll just have to use this demon shark which is no good really um so i'm better off just using this summoner which is stupidly op anyway i have been trying torheo the frozen <laughs> in like a uh, reverse speed i mean this silly old cow i mean <laughs> you must know how frustrating he is when you've got magic attacks against him but i lost with him and it wasn't great you know having him as a second tank tide biter again he's already got the reach so you're not really getting much out of him river hellendale could be good for inspire but again it's a level two so you're gonna have to upgrade perceivless here's my perceivless he's only a level one so in gold league you're better off with the high powered magic cards crossed with like the higher powered demon shark with your friendle with the kayla friendle definitely much better than using perceivless in the gold league i'm sorry if you've come up with any great metas and let me no because i haven't even used this guy to be honest like there's just better options out there so obviously the sea monster could come back into play but again it's like i sold all my gold copies there is some neutral cards so goblin mech i sold my gold goblin mech but i've still got an original and he's really good because he's got piercing so that's a great second tank option but you're gonna have to use him in wild disintegrator he's really good because he demoralizes but is he really good because he's so slow and he's not really he's not great i'd rather just throw 10 furious chickens at my blooming <laughs> There is a great card that I do think, oh, I've been using the War Chang quite a lot as well. He's been really good in silver, but again, like, it's not going to win you battles in gold. Putting him as a second tank, he kind of, he does have the range, and when he comes in, he can retaliate, like, uh... But here you go, Legionnaire Alvar is very, very good. I don't really utilise him. I haven't been able to use my gold copy, which has got Giant Killer and the higher melee, but I do think that's a future meta coming up with using him. I can only use this one, though, at the moment, unless I level up my possibles um so i'm looking at only using my war chang disintegrator or the goblin mech the goblin mech's the standout performer for me but again you can only use it in those ones i mean you could probably go and look at the wave runners come redundant he's always he's been redundant for a while the frost lions are cheap cheap second like oh special mention to the hardy stonefish now he can come in and play a little bit but again like him and the fiend you can i've had the, him and the fiend attacking like do 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 like they are funny and they're do do damage but again they haven't won me any matches it's just a bit of a like joke really i'm looking at the battle orca i mean that's a terrible card that i'd never use even back before wild and modern was even a thing <laughs> So I basically sold all my wild cards, all my good wild cards to invest into modern cards. So I generally just play modern. So as this card is so strong as a summoner and it's only four mana, 
it's really hard to pick possibles in the gold league silver and bronze yeah definitely i'm not so sure i'm going to level him up just yet because i think there's better options out there to spend my money on what's what position i'm in i do scrape into the diamond league he's never going to be good in the diamond league for sure at that level i mean there might he might come in when it's melee attacker all the times it's it's like you don't need him at all and then there's stronger summoners to do more damage and i just i haven't found a good meta or a good way to utilize him properly yet and I have been experimenting heaps. So please leave a comment on what light cards you've been using with him because I would love to know if I'm missing anything because I've tried most everything. Oh, since I started recording this video like five minutes ago, you can get him now for $13. So he's dropping down in value. That's showing people are throwing him away. Like there's 362 available. He definitely is the weakest summoner out of all of these new legendary ones. I was struggling with Conqueror Jack to start with as well. And then I upgraded some of my cards, fire cards to make him really good. Grandmaster Wraith, I feel he's really good as well. Whereas Possibilis, I mean, I like the card, I like the dragon, I like the artwork. I just haven't found a good way to use him in the game just yet. Final thoughts, I mean, I'm really looking forward to the Earth one coming out and the Death one. I really do hope they make the Death one really strong because the Death cards aren't that strong, I feel. And I do like playing Death them quite a lot. Also, Dragon. Dragons are pretty cool. Dragons are my favourite to play. I do feel on balance that he shouldn't have been the strongest because of Kalar Frendel being so OP anyway. It kind of does balance the game a lot better having him a little bit weaker than the other legendary summoners maybe they'll bring out something as strong as your yodin or a kitty maybe like who knows like that would be great to bring out a strong summoner for death i really would like that so if you like this kind of content then please leave a like on the video leave a comment and love to hear from what splinter lands cards you're using and playing also please subscribe that would help me out loads thank you bye